Hi, I'm Alan Palmieri, County Mayor of Jefferson County, Tennessee. The biggest issue facing our community right now at the present time is a proposed mega site. The County Commission is in the process of trying to decide whether or not to fund the project to advance it further so that additional information and facts can be obtained. The effort is in order for us to decide whether or not Jefferson County can even proceed with a mega site. The mega site is projected to bring in six to eight thousand jobs into our community. A lot of people say that we can't handle six to eight thousand jobs. It wasn't long ago that Jefferson City and Jefferson County had three of the major mining operations in our community. We also had mining blocks that was running three shifts and had about 4,000 employees. Can we handle an influx of six to 8,000 new jobs? Absolutely. Do we need the jobs? More than ever before. Our community has suffered over the years due to the lack of having industry and jobs for our residents. The lost leakage that leaves our county to go to other counties for people to buy food, clothing, entertainment, and equipment has been significant. It has put us in a depressed economic condition. Yes, it's difficult for people to see their land be taken for industry, and I'm sympathetic to that. But Jefferson County can't be run and it cannot be controlled just by one person or one group. Our county is more and means more than one individual. Over the years, we have seen a major decline in the farming industry. We don't have that many full-time farmers in Jefferson County anymore. Some are still taking advantage over the green belt, which means that they're paying lower taxes in many cases than individuals that have a simple house and a lot. Well, those aren't providing jobs. For our people. We spend millions upon millions of dollars each and every year on education for our children. And we want to see our children receive the very best education they can so they can be healthy and contribute in a positive way to our community. The problem we're facing and we have been facing and it will continue to get worse in the future is we're spending all our money on education and our children are having to leave Jefferson County. They're becoming assets in other communities. We're educating them, send them loose. They tell mom and dad, I've got to move to Nashville. I'm moving to Atlanta, I'm moving to Charlotte. Why? Because we don't have jobs here for them. A lot have asked about whether or not local people would receive the better paying jobs if a mega site is uh, productive and attracting an automobile manufacturer. Well, certainly if an automobile manufacturer is going to invest multiple millions of dollars in constructing a building in a factory here, they're going to make certain that their interest is taken care of. They're going to have their key personnel in the very top positions. But I can assure you that there's going to be many, many other jobs, not low-paying jobs, but management positions that will have to be filled that will be offered to our people. Can we afford to move forward with a mega site? I'm not absolutely certain, to be honest with you. I think, and what I am absolutely certain about, is we need to move forward with the process to determine whether or not Jefferson County is a fit for this project. In the end, we may realize that the project is too big or the scope of this project is just something that won't fit in Jefferson County. At the present time, all we're hearing is emotions. I'm more interested in listening to the facts, those on both sides of the issue, those that are for it and those that are against it. Facts are what's going to determine whether or not we move forward and advance with this project. And if we stop now, we'll never obtain the facts. This could be the biggest and best thing that ever hit Jefferson County. We don't know. We've got to obtain the facts. Uh, questions have been raised over the fact that County Commission has approved $442,000 for the funding of the project to move forward. The question has been raised uh, by some of the County Commissioners and by residents as well that it was their understanding 
that those funds had already been committed. The truth of the matter is, that question is still in limbo, trying to determine if the funds have been taken from different accounts or not. We don't have any concrete evidence of that. Motions were made, and the motions were very vague. Uh, the fact that they were vague without giving specific amounts from each account leaves it kind of open uh, for finance to take the funds from whatever account was mentioned in the original motion. That's still something that's being investigated and something that will be discussed, I'm certain, at Monday's special call session in County Commission. Commission's struggling with this issue and they're trying to come up with a solution that's best for the entire county. One of the issues that are facing our community at the present time is over a proposed body farm down the New Market Strawberry Plains area. There has been some opposition to it. It's a project that uh, a private individual and Carson Newman College have been working on for quite some time. Representative Nicely, Senator Nicely now, I should say, has introduced legislation to prevent body farms from being located in the state of Tennessee. Truth of the matter is, the body farm, there are only, I believe it's eight or nine in the entire country. And it would be a tremendous focal point for Jefferson County. It's closer, the location of the body farm itself, the land that it'll be sitting on, is closer to the property owner that is donating the land than anyone else. Is it a good thing? I think the fact that it's a joint venture with Carson Newman College, it could open up another discipline for the college to attract additional students is a good thing. It's going to be monitored on a regular basis to make sure that it complies with all environmental issues. And I have to be realistic when I say this. I don't know of a farmer yet that hadn't had a situation where he's had a dead animal, whether it's a dog, a cat, a chicken, a goat, or a cow, and they've buried it on their farm. Some have just thrown it in a ditch. Some have laid the... Uh, the carcass on top of the ground and shovel a little bit of dirt on it. I don't see where it's that large an environmental issue, especially due to the fact that the Department of the Environment will continue to monitor the land, the water, the air, and the soil around the